Hi, I'm Kerry Greenwald, Senior Real Loan Specialist and owner of Creekside Mortgage. I'm proud today to go through and have a conversation with Emily, one of my LOAs for the Greenwald team here at Creekside Mortgage, Loan Officer Assistant, about her recent purchase of a VA transaction and answer some questions that we all have once we buy a house and what's the important next step. So, Emily, I'm proud of you being able to do that. It's an awesome you. step. Thank so tell you. us a little bit about what you just went through, what your process, what you did. Um, I just bought a home using my VA benefits. I am a disabled veteran, so I was able to go in with a great rate, um, no closing costs, no VA funding fee. Um, everything worked out really nicely. It was very smooth, a quick closing, and I got a great interest rate. That's awesome. So the next step right now is the most important is when the relationship truly begins, is once the loan closes. Mm -hmm. um, I like to sit down and tell everyone what those next things are going to happen. Immediately the bank's going to start soliciting you, you'll start getting things in the mail. Um, they'll, they'll come continuously nonstop talking about, hey, VA made a mistake, time to refinance, here's life insurance, here's a bi-monthly payment, everything you can possibly imagine will start happening now. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that everyone's aware of those steps. Um, I would always, at all points, set up my payment through my own bank. I would never go through at any institution that has it ever allow them access to my bank account. Right. Over the years I've seen mistakes happen where they've drawn too much money or anything's gone through. So go to your bill payer through your own bank and set that up. Second is they're always going to offer you life insurance. Something happens to you, they're going to pay off your loan. I highly don't recommend that. Uh, life insurance is a great item, but go through your own insurance agent. Don't ever go through right. the bank's person. It, it's never going to be a better deal on something like that. And last, that they're really soliciting wanting you to do is what's it called a bi-monthly payment, which I have additional videos that talk about that. I, I've always advised against the bi-monthly payment. I can understand if you pay your house off quicker, that all makes sense, but you always want to control it yourself. You don't want to let them access to do that. Mm -hmm. And I highly encourage everyone to watch additional videos I've had that talk about that. But yes, definitely form your own opinion on how it will go through and work. The last thing is, is that stuff you're getting in the mail that says it's time to refinance, time to do this. Right. So important that you constantly communicate with us. Mm -hmm. Reach back to us, ask us, is this legitimate? Um, is this really going on? And one of my favorite clients, I've known this gentleman for years, calls me at least once a quarter and says, Carrie, I got this in the mail, what's going on with it? Um, I've talked more people out of refinances than people into refinances. A lot of times, uh, veterans are taken advantage of, you know, being able to have the VA rights, the simple loan, no money out of pocket or anything else to go through and do it. But you truly, if you're going to do a full refinance, getting cash back, you want to make sure it's beneficial for what you're doing, it makes sense, and you can recoup the money in a certain time period if you're just doing the standard EARL. So they're great benefits, awesome things to go through and do, but you want to make sure it's the right time for you to do it and everything else. So always, at any point you get anything, even if it's from the actual bank that secures their loan, it's still important to reach back to us and always say, hey, is this legitimate? Is this a, a good deal or not? Right. And we'll tell you honestly whether it's to do it or not do it to take that next step. So please take time to watch some of the additional videos and anytime, any questions you ever have or any concerns, please reach right out to us and we'll get right back to you. So thank you. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.